Shield Industries Incorporated conducted the following demonstration using the force field Fire Guard E84 intumescent coating at the 2012 Georgia Fire Safety Symposium. At the symposium, attendees received training on up-to-date fire prevention, education, engineering, and inspections. This demonstration was conducted for fire officials and inspectors from across the state of Georgia with the help of the fire safety personnel at the Georgia Public Safety Training Center. Our goal at the seminar was to present the life and fire safety attributes as well as the effectiveness of using force field fire guard E84 intumescent coating on wooden buildings. We also want to demonstrate the difference in fire resistance of a key structural feature in these buildings, the pre-engineered wooden eye joists. To demonstrate, we performed a side-by-side -side comparison of an untreated wooden eye joist and an eye joist treated with FireGuard E84 intumescent coating. To conduct the test, two identical 8 feet by 8 feet buildings were constructed using grade C half-inch southern pine plywood for the walls and roof of each building. The roof and floor deck of each building were supported by pre-engineered wooden eye joists. The interior of the treated building on the left was coated with a 25 mil dry coating of force field fire guard E84. The interior of the untreated building on the right was painted using an interior flat latex house paint. The exterior of both buildings were painted with latex house paint. On top of each building, a steel 55-gallon drum of water weighing 500 pounds was placed on the center of the roof. The weight represented two firemen who, in a real-life situation, might be on the roof fighting the fire. A 15-pound crib made of wood was placed inside both buildings, doused with an accelerant, and used as the ignition source for the test. The cribs were ignited at approximately the same time. The humidity at the time of the test was 96%, so the ignition source was slow to ignite and the flames were slow to grow in intensity. Additional 15-pound cribs were added to both of the existing cribs in each building after three and a half minutes. At the six and a half minute mark, both ignition sources were at maximum intensity. As you can see, the building on the left, protected with fire guard E84, shows no sign that the fire has spread to the structure of the building. However, the building on the right, painted with a regular house paint, is now fully engulfed with flames, with flashover occurring at the 8-minute mark. Seen here at the 11-minute 20-second mark, the 500-pound barrel has fallen through the ceiling of the untreated building and crashed into the interior. The building protected with fire guard E84 is still standing firm, and the ignition source has declined in intensity. The structure shows no signs of the fire spreading to the interior of the building. After 15 minutes, these are the two buildings after the initial lighting of the ignition source. It is evident the FireGuard E84 stood up to the test, as the structure coated with FireGuard E84 has shown no signs of massive damage during the demonstration. The roof, which has held the 500 pounds of water, is still fully intact and appears solid. A closer look inside the building shows that Fire Guard E84 Intumescent, as expected, protected the walls, the wooden eye joist, and the floor above. There is a marked difference between the two buildings, both during and after the fire. Fire Guard E84 demonstrated its passive fire resistant capabilities and that it is an effective solution to saving lives and property during a fire. FireGuard E84 is tested to be an alternative method in lieu of half-inch gypsum for fire resistance, required on pre-engineered I-beams and OSB per 2012 International Building Code.